Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss about this CRC problem that is cyclic redundancy check. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe for more engineering related topics. And the playlist link of the computer networks is given in description. You can access it. Now to solve the CRC problem, there will be given a frame and a generator. This generator can also be called as the divisor. So this generator can be given in two forms. So this is the first form that is using zeros and ones that is binary bits or it can be given in the form of polynomial. So if they are given in the polynomial, we must first convert them into this form and then start proceeding with the problem. Now they are directly given in the binary bit form. There is no need of converting them. So for example, if they gave in the polynomial form means. Let's take an example. So x power 3 plus x plus 1. So this is the polynomial which I am taking. How to convert this to binary bits that is zeros and ones means x power 3 is the maximum value. Next take x power 2 keep on reducing x power 1 x power 0. What is the value of x power 0? x power 0 value will be equal to 1. x power 1 value is x. x power 2 value is x power 2, x power 3 value is x power 3 itself. So how do I wrote x power 0 value as 1 means whatever the number consisting of its power value equal to 0, its value will be equal to 1. 16 power 0 is 1, 18 power 0 is 1, 9 power 0 is 1 like that. Whatever the number consisting 0 as its power, its value will be equal to 1. Now x power 1 can be directly written as x. If there is nothing means you can assume it as 1 like that. So what are the values are there in the given polynomial x power 3 is there x power yeah, 1 that is x is there and 1 is there. So I put x power 3 x and 1 as 1 x power 2 is not there. So I use it 0 to represent it. So this is the binary conversion of the given polynomial form. So like this you convert and then proceed with the problem. So first step is to find the number of zeros that you must add to the frame. So there are 5 bits in the generator or device divisor. So n minus 1 which will be equal to 5 minus 1. Therefore 4 zeros you must add to the given frame while solving the problem. You must add n minus 1 zeros to the frame while solving the problem. Since we add 5 bits in the divisor or the generator, n minus 1 that is 5 minus 1 will be 4. So 4 zeros you must add. So what happens in the cyclic redundancy check is whenever a sender is sending a message, for example, if you are sending a message to your friend, so let's call him as the receiver. So he will be the receiver of the message you send. You will be the sender, you and your friend will be the receiver. So between these two, while communication, if there is any loss of information or any mismatch occur, the error will be checked. That is error correction will be done using the cyclic redundancy check. Now, at the sender side, at the sender side, first you are sending the information. What you must do is, you must divide using the given divisor or the generator, 1001. One. And what are my frame? 11010111011. And I said you must add four zeros to the given frame at the sender side. So add four zero. One, two, three, four. Now for division we will be using XOR gate itself. So what XOR gate tells? If it is of the same inputs, if my two inputs are same, output will be zero. If my inputs are different, then my output will be equal to 1. Let's see. So from which you are dividing? This is the divisor. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now 0 and 1, both are different inputs. So different means 1. 1 and 1, so both are same inputs. So 0. 0 and 0, same inputs. So 0. 1 and 0, different inputs. So 1. 1 and 1, same inputs. So 0. Now, for the next step, I must be starting with 1. I must be starting with 1. 
whatever the number of zeros behind the one will not be considered. So I will strike out this. How many numbers I not considered? One. So I will be taking one element or the one bit downside. So what is its value? One. Now I will divide again. One zero zero one one. So one and one are same. One and one are same. All are same. So five zeros are coming. So I cannot proceed with zero. I will only proceed when there is one. So what I will do? Since five zeros, I will be taking five elements downside. So these five elements will be down. So it is starting with one. So I cannot consider these five. So that is why I took five bits downside. So if I divide using the divisor one zero zero one one. Different means one, same means zero. Different means one, same means zero, same means zero. I must start from one. I don't need these two. So I strike out two zeros. So I will be taking two bits downside. Now divide again one zero zero one one. Different means one, different means one, different means one, same means zero, same means zero. Now these two zeros are there. I will cancel because I must start with one only. So, but if you see at the frame, we are having only one bit. So I will take it down. Since we are having only four bit right here, it cannot be divided by the five bit number. Four bits cannot be divided by five bits. So I will stop the process right here. So what is my rem reminder? My reminder value is equal to one 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 zero. Now at the receiver side. At the receiver side, again the same process will happen by dividing using the same divisor one zero zero one one and the same frame one one zero one zero one one zero one one. But at the last here at the sender side we put four zero, but in place of four zero at the receiver side we will be using the reminder that is one 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 zero. So here also we are having four bits, four zeros we added. So if you divide. You, if you divide the new frame using the divisor, at the last, if you get the reminder as zero, at the last, if reminder values are equal to zero, then the message which you sent from the sender to receiver is accepted at the receiver side without any error. Accepted at the receiver side without any error. So you just duplicate this process and find the reminder. So reminder, if it is zero, then it is accepted at the receiver side. Hope you understood the concept of the cyclic redundancy check problem. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe and support us. If you have any doubt, please comment below. I will try to clarify them. Thank you.